everyone this is dr jyoti bala and welcome you all on my youtube channel in this session we will be exploring about industrial microbiology very specifically we will see the scope we will also see the recent trends happening in industrial microbiology along with the road map and eligibility to enter such sector i will also be providing you high salary career prospect for industrial microbiology so let's get started Let's see the difference between conventional and industrial microbiology first. In the conventional microbiology, the prime focus are mostly on understanding the fundamental aspect of microbiology, their structure, behavior, interaction. On the other hand, the industrial microbiology, we have to apply the knowledge of conventional microbiology to various industrial applications, particularly in biotechnology, bioprocessing, drug designing, or to produce useful product and processes. You can say conventional microbiology is more academic or research oriented, while industrial microbiology is more application driven and practical. Conventional microbiology aim to expand our knowledge of microorganism while industrial microbiology aim to utilize microorganism for commercial purpose conventional microbiology typically involves the laboratory research while industrial microbiology involves scaling up the processes for large scale production and with the technology advent both in the wet lab and dry lab it also utilizes the data driven approaches here Now let's see what are the scope of industrial microbiology. Industrial microbiology has wide scope and various application. The number one is biopharmaceutical, which is the production of vaccines, antibiotics, and other biological based biopharmaceutical. The next one is bioremediation, using microorganism to clean up the pollutant. The next area is food and beverages. Where microbiology plays important role in the fermentation and the production of beer, wine, yogurt, cheese, etc. The next area is biofuel. The production of biofuels like ethanol, biodiesel, etc. involves the utilization of microorganism. The next scope is in the area of environmental monitoring, where you can use microorganism to monitor environmental parameter. The next scope is in the wastewater treatment, where you can use microbes for the efficient sewage treatment, etc. And the next significant area is bioplastic, where you can explore microorganism for producing biodegradable plastic. The next scope is enzyme production. Microorganism can also be utilized for the production of industrial enzymes for various applications. And with the data revolution, the scope of industrial microbiology also lies in the bioinformatics, where you can analyze microbial data for industrial application purpose. Now let's see some of the recent trends that is happening in industrial microbiology. The number one is synthetic biology, which is designing and constructing biological system for specific purpose. The next one is CRISPR Cas9 by editing microbial genome for improved industrial applications. The next one is single cell microbiology where you can study the individual microbial cell for better product yield. The next significant trend is metagenomics that explore microbial community for the potential industrial uses. The next one is nanotechnology. This utilizes integration of microorganism with nanomaterial for advanced application purpose. The next one is circular bioeconomy, which focuses on sustainability and recycling in the industrial processes. The next one is artificial intelligence, implementing AI for data analysis and process optimization. These approaches can be utilized in the diagnostic and therapeutics. The next trend is personalized medicine. We are tailoring the pharmaceutical to the individual genetic profile. The next one is microbiome research, which helps us to understand the role of microbiomes in various application. Additionally, biopharmaceutical is also trending sector, which also utilizes microbiology processes and systems. So, if you are interested in entering the industry of microbiology, let's see what kind of eligibility and roadmap is required. Typically, a bachelor degree in microbiology, biology, biotechnology, or a related field is required for entry-level positions. For the advanced roles, you often require master or specific PhD in microbiology or specialized area with industrial microbiology expertise. You may gain practical experience through internship and research project. 
try to stay updated on the emerging trends and technology in the field make sure you are having enough of industry and professional networking related to the microbiology sector and here are the high salary career prospect in industry microbiology you can either become a bioprocess engineer who deal with the designing and optimization of microbial processes you can either become a biotech project manager who oversee biotechnology project you can also become a quality control manager who ensure product quality compliance you can also become a pharmaceutical research scientist who develop new drugs and vaccines you can also enter food and beverages industry and become a food and beverage microbiologist to improve the food and beverage production you can also enter in the environmental sector you can become a environmental microbiologist who work on environmental clean up and monitoring you can also become a bioinformatics specialist you can analyze microbial data for industrial use you can utilize microbiome and metagenomics data for therapeutics and diagnostic purpose you can also become biofuel researcher you can develop a sustainable fuel solutions if you are having interest in medical and clinical sector then you can also become a biomedical research scientist and lastly you can also become a consultant who provide the advice to the various industry industrial microbiology offers diverse and promising career opportunity and the salary potential depends on the factors such as education experience and the specific industry or organization you work for i hope you have liked the session do forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor thank you